What's up guys? It's King Daddy Dmac and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast on the Hermitcraft server. So I've been keeping pretty pretty busy. Look at all them hybrids we got. But I am super duper excited right now. You have no idea because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Well, seven of them. If we had one more, I wonder what we could do. I think you guys are starting to understand what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Let's make our final eighth and upgrade this baby to an ultimate. Oh, man. I have been waiting for this day for so long. I had in the first server, that's right where we had to reset right at this point when I had just got my first ultimate hybrid solar panel. And these guys are ridiculous. Basically, they put out high voltage, um, 512 EU per tick, and that is just insane. I'm so excited for this. So I want you to be a part of it. So we're just going to cook up our iridium alloy ingots need two of them and yeah it's, it was even harder this time because greg tech wasn't quite as difficult last time we did this but uh either way it has been it's been fun i like the difficulty i like that it's not as easy i like to have to work for things so you know anyway i think now at this point this is kind of what i've been working up towards i think pretty soon we are going to move out. And let me just grab some more of this guy. Industrial TNT. So many different things that you need to use in order to make this work. But yeah, I think me and Hypno are going to be moving out. We're going to have to go and explore for a new place to live. And uh, for our factory. And I'm not sure. We may end up living close by each other or just do the factory together. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys would like. But anyway... Let's see. So right here, I've been using a lot of people have been wanting me to use project tables. And I've actually been using them, just not for recording purposes. But they are a lifesaver. Thank you, everybody, for the suggestion. And let's go up there. Last ingredient. I'm not going to make many more of these advanced solar panels. I'm just going to knock them off one by one and upgrade. So let's take this bad boy, and we might as well knock these down, too. Oh, they're so cool looking. I love it. Love it, love it. So the hybrids, they're the middle voltage, the 128 a tick. The advanced ones, which are these black ones, that's the second level ones, those do 8 during the day. So that would be low voltage. And so let's see here. So we'll put in our advanced, get our hybrid. Awesome. And this may not be... I When looking through the crafting recipes... There is another way you can just straight do it. But since we're kind of progressively adding them, it seems easiest to do this. I think the advanced circuit is the only thing you lose. Oh, I'm in love. Then if you set it back there, you get all eight of them back. So I can't imagine it's that bad. It's probably just that advanced circuit that we lose. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, 512 EU a tick. That is amazing. Of course, we have so many of these MFS EUs that I threw on just because we have the materials for them. So I thought, why not? But yeah, we're going to be packing up soon. We got to figure out, I want to take all the solar panels with me. So we got to figure out a way that we can power all of spawn, or at least all of our machines at spawn. And um, and then be able to just remove all the solar panels and uh, not start afresh, but start right where we left off here. So anyway, um, I guess we can get on with the episode now. I'll meet you guys back and uh, maybe we can explore for a new place and sort of figure out what we're going to be doing. Are you ready? For yeah, I don't feel like I want to restart the server. It feels like chunks are loading really strangely. So are we going to start the recording here? Uh, 
because I'm not ready just yet, but I just want to know. We what said we're, we're recording. Oh, that's Oop. my excuse. You just took my torches. I... Accidentally threw those. Oh, those are my torches. Oh, D Mac. I know there's a chest over here that's some more in them too. Those are my torches. You gypsy. Yeah, I thought here. there was more torches. In there the was, chance. but somebody Did was them? gypsying them from me, so I I took them all. Them? Oh, there's your torches. See, I told you I didn't have them. Nice, thanks, buddy. Okay. All right, you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. All right, so I think we're just gonna go through the Dingletrons portal. Would be our fastest way back. Mm. What do you think? The Dingle. I don't. I don't know where the Dingletron portal is. You're gonna have to show me that. It's kind of out of the way. They didn't link it up yet. Yeah, I, I know I saw it before in the Nether at one point, but I don't know how to get there. Let's see. Oop, oop. Got to go down here. Every time I come through that Nether portal, it's like I'm facing the wrong direction. I always get disoriented. Always. We need to do Every some type time. of coloring or something. Yeah. And I can never find my way back into this thing. Every time I'm like, did somebody block up the entrance? This. Of course you did. I'm trying to yeah. confuse us simple well, folk. I don't <laughs> I don't think I made it like that to begin with, but you know you did it on purpose. I, I think putting the, the nether portals in the ceiling was probably the better idea though. Just so we don't have to deal with gas all the time. Oh yeah. So one thing I don't like about the Hermitcraft portal, like our nether hub there. It's just, it's so low in the nether. Like, if you go outside, it's just gas everywhere. Yeah. I don't like it. But then again, you have a view, so I don't know. Are we going the right way? Mm hmm But we can always dig it all out, have a glass floor. Like, all, there's all sorts of cool things we could do. Mm. Hey, look, there's a floating gas fireball. I'm going to poke it. All right, so this is to their old old place, and that's to their new place. I don't know which one's closer. I poke the fireball. Right. Ah, shot it. You're just wasting <laughs> nice. your jetpack. Hitting the fireballs. Oh, I didn't think you could hit those once they were frozen. Mm-hmm, you can. Okay, so this is the new Dingletron entrance? Mm-hmm, I guess it's Christmas all the time at Dingletron. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, huh? That's interesting. These are not glass panes, are they? These are the, uh, the micro blocks. Yeah, those are really cool. Those are, I almost think those are probably a better glass pane. They would stay the full size no matter if they're connected, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I now... see a bunch of fuel over here. What do we got here? What that... is this? Oh, this is actually... I don't think I've seen this book. Oh, this is the... Th oh, that looks nasty. Oh, yeah, check it out. This is the brain in a bottle. This is that thing I was talking to you about earlier. Ooh. And, like, kind of follows you around. It's weird. That's <laughs> spooky. I this don't, thing's I don't making like those. sound too. This is like demonic sounding. Hmm. Really? I don't hear it. Oh, now I do. Oh, that's scary. It's like yeah. death, devil worship. I'm not. I'm not into that. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's one of the things. Like I haven't touched Thalmcraft yet, just because I feel like it is kind of devil worship. So is this the Crystal Company? Um, I don't yeah, know. It must be. What the hell? I'm like moving sideways and I'm not touching my keyboard. Uh, hit escape. Okay. Oh, that yeah. escape drew me back in. That's scary. All right. So are we going to head out? <laughs> yeah. So this is the Dingletron place. I don't think I have really explored this at all. Ooh, what is this thing up here? That's kind of like weird. Just single block. What is this? D Ooh, that's, uh, that's one of those. That's a wraith lantern is what that is. Yeah. It's got that weird fire thing in it. It lights up like the whole area. That's a really good, cool thing. I got to check one of those out. Yeah, Ooh, sure. a silver tree. Should we chop it down? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, so yeah, DTI. I didn't see that. That's cool. Good thing none of us are recording. Nobody will ever know we chopped them all down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got penguins out in their pond. That's awesome. These guys want some snow, I bet, though. Some ice water. <laughs> I can't believe Alright, so where are we going? Um, oh. We are going. I have a waypoint set. I have, you know me, I can't follow directions. It's this way towards the volcano. I'm liking the autumn biome here. This is neat. I need to get some of these saplings and grow my own for sure. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I, I was saying. I don't really see the purpose since you can just replant them. Cause... I guess the thing is because, like, if you, you know, go to an autumn biome, you can see autumn trees off in the distance for forever. 
Whereas if you plant them all yourself, I mean, that's just a lot of trees you got to plant. Yeah. But then again, if you want to build there, there's a lot of trees you have to clear too. Exactly. So. I like these but, glaciers though. I want, is there anything special about them other than I don't think the so. ice? No, I think it's just part of the extra biomes or whatever. The XL biomes or whatever they call that. I'm getting something like that. Some serious uh, chunk loading. Oh, we might be rendering new chunks, huh? Could be, could be. All right, so we go off hmm. this direction into the north. Oh, I lost you. I don't see where you are. Why Look to the see? north of the... If oh, you're, there you are. Yeah. Yep, I see you now. You always go so high up in the air. What do you do that for? I just hold space bar. You can only go up so high. Thank God we have these new long fall boots. Well, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for making those. These things, yeah, you can fall from so high up and not take any damage. It's crazy. Hey, sure, those might be a little overpowered, don't you think, though? Well, I don't know. Do they count as armor, too? Let me, uh... We'll see if they work. Just fall from there. Yeah, let, let's just see if they work. Splat. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, man. Look at all this free loot that I found right here. This is pretty <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, that is kind of cool, though. You can see through the ice in some areas, so it almost makes like a clear mountain. Oh, yeah. And then. Yeah, I've seen people who've made like um, ice castles or things like that before. It's always really neat. Definitely. Sure. Yeah, it could save you a lot of time making it. Mm. Especially now that you got silk touch. The the ones that I've seen before are people doing like in the old style where they had to oh, do build in a snowy biome and then place water and wait for it to freeze that takes oh, forever for sure well also snow i don't think is snow anywhere natural in vanilla yeah there's snowy biomes oh you mean snow blocks yeah no. snow blocks don't exist just the top layer of snow yep check out this awesome volcano right Ooh. there to our left we have the extreme hills to our right and straight ahead we have the, all the red extreme hills i like, really like this how it splits up like this this is really nice. It's like a little bowl area almost. You got a nice river flowing through it. Separates the extreme hills from the red rock. Right. Yeah, all Oop, in this there's area. Like a, it's like a natural cross down here. It's weird. I've seen that a lot in this, like generated. I went, uh, when I was exploring yesterday, I went 30,000 blocks out and saw that several times. Hmm, that's crazy. Yeah, try I, I think it's. I think it might be a common occurrence, just the way, like the pixelated terrain is. So this right here is where I have marks that I wanted to put my home. Oh, let me get down to you and see what you can see from down there. Oh, brook my ankles. Oh, this is so much better than my other one. Oh, this is nice. I like how you can see the glacier off in the distance. Well, now it's disappearing, but it like goes into a foggy. With the volcano right, there. With the volcano in the foreground. And then right behind us is a village. Hmm. Oop. I forgot I had to put hover mode back on. <laughs> There's a village here. Hmm. Which I don't know if this has been explored. It doesn't look like... I don't see any signs of life around here. Are those torches? They're like floating. They're not connected to the blocks for me. Yeah, I've seen that recently. I think... I don't think it was doing that in the beta pack, but I think... Villages in uh, the Minecraft pack seems to be doing that. I don't know why. Yeah, there's is this no this chest. is like half a house. What the heck? Did you see this? No, no. Where are you? Let's see. It's right over here. It's like half a house. You not? Oh this? my! God. I didn't. I saw it, but it didn't register. <laughs> Maybe it's just like two houses spawned on top of each other or something. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's crazy. I did not see a chest in that one thing, but this some of them don't generate. Like, I didn't see a priest either in here, so this might be the normal vanilla one. Not Yeah, because it doesn't have those new blocks. Oh, was there not a uh, blacksmith? I think, I think the blacksmith is the only one... Besides the Thomcraft one that has yeah, uh, a chest. Thing. That's what I was saying. I thought this was a Thomcraft one, but it's not. No, yeah. The Thomcraft ones has a, the chiseled stone brick, I believe. Mm hmm In those corner spots. Oh, yeah. dude, check this out. There's a jungle over here, too. Oh, nice. 
And I'd I'd, like me some jungle, that's for sure. Good flat area too. See, this is what mm. I like: the good flat area and then good scenery, the mountains around. No, is this a jungle or is this just a uh, a forest? What do they call these? It might be this the is... mini jungle. Oh, mini jungle. Mini yeah. jungle. Yep, I see an ocelot. Very cool. So there's, I mean, like... it's perfect. All the different like... types of biomes. This would be great for your bees to have so many oh, different. Oh yeah, def definitely the bees. Yeah, that's the problem I'm having right now with them is that uh, we're in the the swamp or not the swamp the savanna oh is this quicksand i don't think i've seen this before this is new block mm -hmm. no it, well the quicksand's nope, been nope. in for a while but i haven't i've yeah, only seen quicksand. it in jungles well this is the edge of that mini jungle or whatever yeah i'm looking at some right now too it's really hard to break it yeah don't get in it <laughs> oh this oh it spawns like in three by threes i thought it was just two by twos i'm trying to see if you can use it for anything we can I've make heard a that you can use it like in a facade. Facade. I've heard that you can use it in like mob traps and have mobs fall through and they'll automatically suffocate and then you can do things. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah. You could use that well for animals too, maybe. Did you just hit the cats? I didn't do anything, no. I heard two mm. cats go rawr, rawr. <laughs> Maybe they fell off a tree, I don't know. Yeah, they're in the quicksand. Oh, you know what happened? They probably died in the quicksand. Yep. Clarification. Yep. All right. So I want to just sort of go. So where would you want? We we're thinking right of there. doing a our factory here now, and then possibly both our homes, right? All in semi close facility. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it might be cool if like we centrally locate the factory, maybe between our two bases or something, and then we can split power off of it, or you know. Just have like some kind of a centralized storage area or something. Oh, and we got a is that swamp or is that jungle that? But yeah, and once we get to finally the those wireless interdimensional things, you know, we can just have crazy amounts of power. So. Right. Yeah, that would be cool. A cave here. All right. Then it goes into icy. See, I don't mind this where the this icy it's far enough away. Then we got a nice plains here. Wait, I'm. Um... I'm not seeing where you're at. I'm over there. Are. Yeah. Yeah, you got the nice taiga biome over here for sure. Which it's cool that it's it's nearby, but it's not right on top of it like the other one. And that's good. Like if you ever want to set up like an ice factory, well, I guess that doesn't really matter because with the thermal expansion, you can set up a machine to make ice. So that's kind of a moot point. There's but the, right here, there's a good flat area with the plains. Have all the biomes around it too. Every time I see a cave, I just always have to go and explore it. <laughs> I don't know why. I need to say I have ADD. <laughs> it's like, I've never seen a cave before. Oh, that pig was going after me because I'm holding a carrot. All right, this um, is interesting. Over. See, I like this. Do you want it? Well, would you rather have a factory on the hill or something where it's on the side of the hill? Like, ooh, and you have that as the side. Because this, this could be a decent area for a big thing. And then we have all around it a jungle, that and that. Or we could build it on top of the hill. There's another village here. Another I don't think we've seen. Yeah. New village. Another right volcano. Birch, and a birch forest. I think it's what it's called. Doggy. Oh, and look at that birch one up on the hill up there. This is great, Ooh, dude. This looks like it might have been explored. I'm not sure. This There's one some... also does not have the... Yeah, this has been explored. There's no, a this, blacksmith. This is the one member that has the you explored by you, I think. Did I explore this? Mm -hmm. Remember the mm. volcano that was coming down onto the village? Mm, no, I don't think I explored this one. Um, but yeah, so over here at the so you want the red rock area to be. I wanted like to live up there. Area? Well, I wanted to set up something there because I wanted to live on a red rock spot. Okay. But then... Now, that's a big range too, though, right? Yeah, well, I don't need the whole thing. Just all of it. Just most of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's like torches over here. Did you place these or are these from somebody else? 
uh, some of these I might have placed, some of them just whoever was exploring. I mean, no one's called this area. Oh, my jetpack's just about out. I need to use some of these batteries. Do you have more batteries? Yep. Plenty yeah, of batteries. good time for me to do that, too. I love these batteries. Such a good idea. I'm telling idea. you. Such a good idea. <laughs> Fast way to charge a jetpack, that's for sure. Awesome. Oh, now it's becoming nighttime, so we can see if there's anything around interesting. Anything glowy or torches or anything. So, yeah, that volcano right there, that's pretty cool. So, you're just thinking that somewhere up here that you're going to set up a base. Oh, we also didn't go to the left over there, but yeah, I wanted to set up around oh, this that's red such a area. Great view. Around where? I My spot that I had marked out, because I like this flat area. I want it to be right here. Right around here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think we saw that earlier now that I remember. But I am thinking, I'm not sure if we want our... Because remember, this is going to be like a desert. It's not going to rain here, which is good. But we're also... No, there was the like grass a... is probably going to look real poopy looking here. Oh, yeah. That's something you gotta think about. Or if you ever want to grow a tree, it might not look good. Um, Wasn't there like a meadow area? Yeah, come right on here? over. We went. Do you see where I am? I have so many of uh, these freaking waypoints. Oh, you're already oh, going this there. Is, this is so the direction. Green. This is so green and nice. What is What biome is this? This is rainforest. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is lit up a little bit, it looks like. Somebody's been exploring. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the meadow. Hmm. Is this a mini jungle here? No, that's rainforest. Oh, rainforest. Yeah, rainforest is good. Redwood forest is good. They all have, like, the deep green grass. Oh, this is pretty epic, too. I, lo I love, love, love the meadows. Okay, look back at this this red hill. I really like the formation. of like the U's on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool looking. This could be, if no one... This might be too close to Dingletron. We should find out. But this mm. could be, potentially, if no one else is here. Because I think there were, at like, 2,000 in the Z direction. This is only 1300. Ooh, check out this tree. What is it? Is this one of those great wood trees? Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah, I think it is. Okay. So, I mean, this could be a pretty epic place right here. Also, for either, I don't know if you wanted a meadow. I know you've been talking about that. Yeah, I really enjoy the meadows. It's like, well, I'd like um, the jungles, right? Just because of the really green grass, but mm -hmm. the meadows are just like a jungle except with no trees. Exactly. It's already cleared <laughs> out for you. Yeah, exactly. So this would probably be a cool place to set up like a bee place or... All right. We got to look up here. Look at up there. There's lights. Oh, that's... Yeah, look at that. Somebody's been over here for sure. That's pretty cool. I That looks like someone must have done that. I don't think it would have generated like that to you. No, I think somebody saw like these plateaus and came up here and explored and just threw down some torches. But if you don't see any homes, I mean, nobody's living here. They got to have their chests and stuff. I bet if we follow the torches. Oh, this meadow right over here to the south looks all lit up. No, you Check know what? It out. might have generated like this. What, with lighting glitches? Or are you talking about these plateaus? These plateaus, like the two blocks. Oh, yeah. I'm almost w willing to bet this is natural generation. All right, there's a village. Yeah, that's Dingletron, but that's the old DTI. They said they're, I think they're moving out of there. So I'll have to talk to Top Mass and find out. Oh, yeah, and you can kind of see in the red, green, and black DTI. Even okay. then, though, that's still pretty far away. That's over 100. That's like 200 blocks away. Hmm. I don't just, know, it uh, just feels like they're pretty close. We should definitely find out. 
I mean, they have all this stuff lit up over here. They might still be coming back here. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to find out. I'm not just going to start building. But the Red Hills is definitely far enough away. You can just start squatting. <laughs> Let's do it. Just start living on the land. Sorry, it's ours now. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is some good terrain, good generation like this. The problem is, like, whenever I set up a base, I generally look for, you know, a good place to set up a base for, like, a mob farm. So, like, out in the middle of the ocean or whatever. But I've never really had a base where there's, like, a lot of extreme hills and mountains and things like that going on. Well, because of those new spawners, I, you know, we really don't need a mob farm at least in the traditional sense, and it's just it's cool to have the neat scenery. Yes, that this, is very, very true. This is epic right here, this hill. Which hill? Oh, that hill. Let me go check it out. There's lights down below, too. That might be lava. Ooh. I mean, I just like, like, I wouldn't want to build on that, but I just like having that. Like, I look out my window every day, and it's just like, it's just, I don't know, epic, inspiring. I want to see what's down below. What that is. <laughs> oh, that's just a quartz crystal. Oop, I'm hearing zombies. Is that a bone or anything? No, oh, no, just zombies. I gotta go for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh man, that was a long night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, let's let's head towards the sun. We got to check out the rest of this mountain area. Oh, watch out for the creepers and things on the side of the mountains. <laughs> so yeah, the rainforest area. This is pretty cool too. Like that, nice and green. Definitely, I, th I definitely think we could make this even into a bigger meadow if we needed to. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. well, yep. I'm... Okay, well, this place is ruined now. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> So you're wondering about the grass color in the uh, red rock. I mean, you can kind of see right here. I mean, it's not quite as deep green, but... Well, that's that's not horrid. It's not bad. That's no, like definitely. average grass. Yeah, it's almost it's not as bad as the river biome grass anyway, I don't think. Yeah, or desert or any of those yeah. swamp. All right, this I really like and look at these huge gorges in here. Mm, definitely. Plenty of spaces to set up like a Ooh, base. Or... Look at this what? volcano right here on the side of it. That it's partially not loaded for me. Oh man, this is. That it's is. It's like you got walls on three sides. That is awesome. That is awesome. Is there anything better over that way? Um. I can't even see right. Oh, you're above me. You keep on doing that to me, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm all about flying up high so I can see around. Oh man, there's. Whoa. Ooh, right, right here, right here, right here. Did you see this? Whoa! How far does this go? This oh is my goodness. So this is like completely surrounded in walls. This is pretty cool. Let me get down there. Wow. I really like this. This is epic. So what do you think? You want to do the factory here? Maybe? Or at least part of it? Yeah, I think this would probably make for a great place to have a factory. Watch out. You got like zombies and skeletons on All this area is not loaded for me. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going into a cave or not? Wow, dude, yeah, this is all a... hollow. Oh, this is awesome. You got oh. spiders and skeletons on you. Wow, this is great. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, no, just single torch. Yeah, your spider. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that goes all the way through. Oh, my jetpack just ran out. <laughs> Here's the spider. Hey, there's a there's a torch here. Did you put this torch here? No, I didn't. I don't think so. I might have. I can't remember. So, it looks like this is the only way in and out of that large area here. So this could make for like, you know, a grand entrance into our. If we do set the factory here, this could be the grand entrance of the factory. That's very cool. And you know what? That's right, right, not too far away from. Yeah, that would be right. So I'd have my house right here. And then I could just get up in the morning, doo -doo 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 -doo, have my coffee, and wander on over the, my the river and through real the quick. woods to work. Here, watch out. There's an angry or a zombie. Here, zombie. Whoa, you knocked back. 
<laughs> no, this is uh, sharpness four and disjunction. Wow. Still don't really know what the disjunction is. Um, I heard it does something like it doesn't make Enderman maybe teleport. Oh, okay. If you're hitting him, something like that. Something to do with Enderman. Did we see this village over here? I can't remember. That might be the same one. I can't tell because it's not loading. Damn fraps. <laughs> yeah, oh. Did we see this one? I can't. I don't remember at all. This is weird. We got like a door up here. Oh, dude, this house is like crazy. Come look at this. <laughs> wow, look at that. Like half a house. That's awesome. <laughs> That is sweet. Oh, yeah. So there's like a lot of really cool stuff here. I am liking this a lot. Awesome. So then it's settled. We I will start so. up. Just got to find out a name now. Mm-hmm. You got any ideas for a name? I have no clue. Maybe, maybe your know. viewers can help us out. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know what a good name would be for our little company here either, but... I definitely like this location, and you said it's, you want it right in here, too? Where'd you go? I'm, I'm just flying all around. <laughs> I'm over by the other volcano towards the glacier. Oh, okay. I think that's on the opposite side of where I'm at. But yeah, definitely a company without a name. That is a problem. Come on, guys. Help us out. Help us. No, that's this is part of so the rainforest. awesome. I'm sold. This is this is it. This and there's is just so it. many good biomes around here too, like all these extreme hills. There's like a big floating island thing in front of me. I don't want to die. Oh, I get the long haul boots on. Never mind. And yeah, and there's also that autumn biome right over there, mm -hmm. which isn't you know a huge deal, but I definitely like getting those saplings and planting some of those around. Oh, definitely. This this is it. This is it. Let's start to move our stuff. Ooh, oh, what is this? There's right a here? huge. What is this? There's a big is ravine, a... all out of marble. Oh, this is awesome. Yep. Oh, is this like a small ravine? What the heck? It's like half a ravine. Half a house, half a ravine. Oh, the river biome probably cut it off or something. I guess I don't know. That is awesome though. All right, man. Well, let's let's start to get our stuff over here soon. Yeah, I think so. We can start packing right away. I'm ready to move out of spawn. I mean, we've been there for a long time giving people everything they need. I think it's time for us to set up our own epic place. Absolutely. Sure. We, we got to do one nice last thing before we take all those solar panels. We got to set up some source of power for them. Oh, that's right. Because if we take all the solar panels... All of those machines there are not going to be of any use. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have to think about what we're going to do for that. That is for sure. Hey, Biggie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head out, I think. But, uh, yeah, we'll get this going. All right, sounds good. All right, later, man. See ya.